Hi there. Tonight we are going to have a little maths lesson. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to give you homework, although I have been known to do such a thing in the past. Uh, so don't switch off just yet. Um, last time, uh, tail end of last week, we looked at making use of the average number of goals in a match um, to set up some seed scores that one might like to dutch within the correct score market, either for, for a view as a straightforward dutch or indeed the possibility of trading out. Um, we're going to do something similar, but you can enhance that. Uh, so we're going to look at uh, a little spreadsheet that I've set up here. This table here contains a list of all the matches uh, I think it's down to the 16th, so it's a week old, but uh, it'll do for the purposes of this exercise. Now, last time I think we looked at uh, Brighton versus Nottingham Forest. So let me just filter this. So if we look at all of Brighton's uh, results at home, so there was four matches, and you'll see they have scored uh, six goals at home in that time. Now, the average of that is 1.5. However, you'll see that they've had one game where they've scored five of those goals in the one match, and they've had two no scores. So using the averages straight off isn't necessarily the best thing to do. What you can do instead is also make use of something called a standard deviation. Let me just set this back to all so we get the whole table in view. <coughs> So what's a standard deviation? Well, a standard deviation is simply a measure of the distribution of the numbers in a particular data set. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about the mathematical theory behind it. If you're that way inclined, by all means, go and search it on the, the internet. But if you can imagine a data set, all the numbers in that data set, if you were to graph them, um, would form what's known as a bell curve. So at the extremes at the left and the right, they're, at, they're quite low, and then they meet in the middle much higher, forming the shape of a bell. Uh, so right in the middle would be the average, and out of the extremes would be the, the, the rare occasions. So in the case of football, the rare occasions where you have six, seven, eight goals. And the standard deviation gives a measure of how, that, how those numbers are distributed. So let me give you um, an example. If I uh, fill these cells here with ones, you'll see that the average, as you would expect, is one. The standard deviation is none. There's no deviation from all of those numbers. They are all the same. But if I do the same thing here and fill nine of those cells with zeros and put 10 in the bottom one, You'll see the average is still 1, but the standard deviation is 3.16. So the idea behind using a standard deviation is if you have a high number there, it means that the, the data set is particularly skewed. The lower the standard deviation, the similar the numbers in that data set are. So you could use this, for example, to establish or give you a rough estimate of how competitive a horse race is, for example. So if you took all the odds for each runner, did a standard deviation on that data set, and it will chuck out a number. And if that number is particularly high, um, you know it's a relatively uncompetitive race. Now, intuitively, you'll know that anyway simply by looking at the numbers, but that's the principle behind the thing. So if we apply it to the uh, goal selection process, you'll see here, if I, let me just switch back to uh, the Brighton match that we looked at last week. So you see we have an average number of home goals of 1.5, but that standard deviation, remember what I showed you earlier on, uh, where there was one match with five goals, that standard deviation is quite high. Whereas in the Nottingham Forest match, they've got an average of 0.2, and the standard deviation is relatively small. So what I'm suggesting here is, unlike the demonstration we did last week, 
if you have either team whose goal record has a relatively high standard of deviation, you might want to think about not having that match as a selection for this process that I demonstrated last week. If, however, both teams uh, are relatively low standard deviation, you would have a higher uh, confidence, I guess, that the goals or the scores that you select for your correct score Dutch may be more reasonable, if you will. Okay, um, let me just see if we can find another match uh, randomly, set of teams. Right, so for example, if Fulham were playing Nottingham Forest based on this data set that I have uh, below here, you'll see that the standard deviation is 0.7. So you might think, ah, this is a better option for uh, for the correct score, uh, Dutching or straight bet. Anyway, that's something that you might want to think about. Uh, it gives you, I think, an, an enhanced version of what I tried to show you last week. And uh, as I say, if you're interested in the more technical aspects of standard deviation and statistics in general, um, by all means, do some research on the internet. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Bye.